Let's click on the uh, blank workbook. When you start Microsoft Excel, you see this screen. And when you click on it, this is the screen that you see. So the key first element I'm gonna introduce to you in the uh, bottom right corner, and that's the zooming element. We're gonna make it a little bit larger uh, so you guys can see better, even if you're using this uh, video on the mobile devices. So. First of all, uh, Excel allows you to do uh, data entries into the cells. So we can type and enter the data. We can say that uh, this is, um, for example, HP monitor, uh, right? This is the text value that we've entered into the cell. Uh, next cell might be Alexa. And as you can see that we're trying to um, list things that might be uh, for sale. Uh, another thing might be remote control. Uh, as I go here, uh, I can extend the uh, rows uh, width, and this would allow me to fit information right into the cell. I can select it and uh, do a little bit of formatting uh, in Excel. For example, I can make a bold, uh, and I'm gonna make it back, un unbold if you wish. <laughs> I can make it italic, uh, underline, right? Um, I can also format within the cell, and this is alignment. Uh, I can make it center to the left, which is currently formatted to the right. I can also place it in the different areas in the cell. And as you can see, all of this is done through the ribbon interface. So this area on top where I'm um, moving my cursor, you see that this is a ribbon. You can switch between different tabs in the ribbon and you see based on um, the name of the tab, you see different possible functions and there are a lot of functions in Excel. But you don't need to know all of them and that's a good thing. Uh, I use maybe five, ten percent. I know about a lot of them, but on a day-to-day basis, you probably use very uh, few of them. So, ninety-five percent um, is used by a lot of other people, like engineers, scientists, data uh, scientists. So, uh, for typical job, uh, like uh, depending what you do, you may not need all of this. So, don't be scared. Uh, it's all good. Uh, now, let's continue and uh, let's enter some numbers. So for example, we need to format uh, to align it back to the left and we'll put some numbers. So that would be the price, HP monitor, for example, $99.99, right? That's the typical price, minus $100, minus one cent. Um, and we can format as, you see, dollar sign. These are different uh, number types, right? F full list of number types listed right here, general number, currency, accounting, I'm not even go, gonna go through the list, but the most typical one uses the number, currency, uh, dates, uh, and text. Those are the most typical ones that I use, and most likely you will be using the same ones. You can also copy and paste uh, here. Um, so what you do here is uh, you select the value, and I'm gonna use the ribbon for this. There are other ways to do copy. So you click copy, then you move your cursor into another cell and then you click paste and it will paste the value. But Alexa's price might be a little bit different. So let's put $49.99. But see, it um, copied not just the value, but also formatting like a, a specific dollar value uh, that was cut. And then the last value uh, for remote control, let's put it at... Uh, 9.99 and you see what I typically do I just copy and paste if it's a similar data and then I just uh, make modifications so now let's talk a little bit and this is the last piece of this uh, overview is uh, how is it helpful right you, so you launched Excel how is it helpful for the uh, regular user like I am
what I can do, I enter the data, I can format the data and I can print the data, right? So for example, I can put borders around the cells. I can also um, make a header and this would be item and this would be price, right? So I just added those two and conveniently uh, spaces that have been left empty. Uh, I can also put some header color here. You see there are different colors available and uh, I probably would also want to do a border around uh, the header. Uh, but uh, now I can print, I can manipulate the data with formula. So for example, let me show you the simplest formula. We'll just click on auto sum and it will sum up all the values. And this would be the total value of uh, C2 through C4, $159.97. And now you can print it, right? That's pretty basic workflow. So you enter the data, you format it as you wish, and then you can print it. And it shows the print preview. And uh, we should be able to zoom in. And we can see this values uh, right on the page. And this is uh, what Microsoft calls WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. So whatever's entered here on the screen, you will get the same uh, printout on that page. Hope you have learned something and enjoyed this video. Make sure to click the subscribe button to stay in touch with me on YouTube. And join my email list so I can share with you more information about my free training courses. Hope to see you back soon. Again, this is Vadim Michalenka. Thanks again for watching.